Okie dokie. Here we are. Good morning. And I think yeah. um, mom is here. Hi, mom. Hi, Anhara. I forgot to give you your coffee yesterday. Sorry. Uh-oh. Uh I have to drop it off. Hi, Sandy. Oh, not like, not like. No, I picked up bag, the coffee no. for you. <laughs> it was bags of coffee. I kept it in my fridge for you. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't anything like that. Sherry and I went to BJ's, uh, I guess like a week and a half or two ago, and um, the one in Uptown in Charlotte, is it closed. And oh. when we went, we didn't realize that right before that, um, everything had gone to half off. So we walked Whoa. in and it was like a post-apocalyptic movie because people uh -huh. were wandering like, around with carts <laughs> and, and there was like nothing. Red signs all over the place. And, and like just 50 the racking, and like just nothing. the racking. Yeah, Ooh, and, and tables of clothing. It was really weird. But the one oh, thing they did- I would have turned around and gone out and been like, this is too creepy. Well, it was creepy, but um, <laughs> we did get these big bags of ground coffee. Okay. And so- Sorry, Mom. I'll bring it to you. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, everybody. Hello. So how have you been? Good. Yeah? Yeah. What you got going? Uh, uh, well, I'm going to uh, save the one. <laughs> I'm going to save the one for the show because that is it's my really topic. It's really cool, actually. But then... Oh, my gosh. Is that Sandbridge? It is. It's my sleeve. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that Woo! is beautiful. Is that Malabrigo? Yes, it is. Wow, that is it's gorgeous. The oh my Ooh. gosh. Ooh. <laughs> Let I me think see. I just pulled a stitch over there. Oh, that was oh, my. I love it. That is, I know. It's so, so this is my first all Malabrigo <laughs> garment. It's awesome. Their yarn it's is so squishy. It's so pretty. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. So that's my first sleeve. I got it. I, the first sleeve is whoop, done. Whoop. So I got, I'll do the other sleeve. So that's the Sandbridge cardigan. Yes. I wrote that pattern. Sandy tied it. Thank you. Yes. And so I'm super <laughs> excited. Kathy's done her second one. I know. She has two of them. And I they're need both to do done. another yeah. one. I, I should do another one. I make it myself do the sleeves. Like your instructions are written, like do the sleeves. But personally, I know when I do projects. You don't like, do the sleeves first. No, I have to do the sleeves oh, first or, because they won't get done oh, otherwise. I'm the so same. Even the when same. I do a top down, I knit until I like finish the ball of yarn that I'm on, and then I go back and do both sleeves, and then I oh, finish really? the body. Yes. Oh, that's funny. Because I will not do the sleeves after I finish. The I body. understand why. I I totally <laughs> I totally get that. Um, I usually just, the only difference is I do them two at a time because if I do one, then I then I'm done. Oh, then you don't one want and to done. Do the sleeves. Yeah. So this I, was really quick. It, it's I mean, that worst it is huge. Yeah. Oh, I know. After I did this one, this is my finished sun tea. Ooh. <laughs> um, with, my, with my... Um, I love it. Uh, so this is... I added this sleeve. So it was just a cap with sleeve. With an edge that matches with, your neck. With the... I love well, it. So the neck and the, the double sleeves. crochet, right? I mean, the, dub, the oh my true God, double, double knit. knit. Yeah. The, yes. the neck was supposed to just be a garter. Like I the love top it. is garter, but I did it on the sleeve, and I I loved the way that it looked it's so much. It's beautifully that finished. Like it, it looks very really nice. very finished. And the hem is the same way, and it's a little you know high low hem, which I didn't add on there. Sandy was, said me too. I think to probably oh, doing the top and then doing the and sleeves, the sleeves and then, yes. Because if you finish like the big bulk of it, and you're like, I still have like <laughs> two sleeves. I don't know. This is the one place in my life where I actually have patience. Nope. I know. Won't happen. And nowhere else for me, but <laughs> I yeah. think I have two sweaters where I finish the body and I just have to oh, really? all I have to do and is pick up like six stitches at the underarm and it's like I it just <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we all have our foibles and quirks. That's right. Yes. But yes, after work after working on this, which is fingering weight, which I This I is like absolutely fast. love the way fingering weight shirts feel. I do too. They're I totally fantastic, do. Fantastic. Yeah, I do too. They do take more. They take a while. I mean, but but I I think they're totally wearable, worth it. They're, especially it's worth for it. us here. So. Cuz I and my um the Andrea Mowry, the pullover one fade whatever so faded has, i i don't know i, it, I don't there's remember. the card there's the cardigan and the pullover and the eight shawls and i don't it's the fade series it's the pullover um and that one is fingering weight the cardigan is dk but the pullover is fingering weight uh my, is my favorite sweater because it's because it's all fingering it's really weight, cute it yeah 
forever. I was so that's happy when that thing was done. That's what they do. <laughs> so that's yep. my Sam bridge. Yes, I'm very, I'm very happy to. I love it. To be starting it. So I finished a little project, a very little project. Um, I actually made, I don't know if I can get this on the way I had it on in the picture. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is just a little um, slouchy it's hat cute. that I can wear over my bun. Oh, my God. Look at my my streak. That's my blonde streak, you guys. That's, it's your sparkle. It. Oh, I have serious sparkle all in one I, place. I will forever love the stylist that told me that. I'm like, that they're, gray not, is they're not grays, they're sparkle. <laughs> oh, it is total sparkle. Well, I finished this as kind of prep for another thing. Yes. But this is um, actually uh, hand-dyed diva yarn. So mm -hmm. if you guys haven't seen yet, because I don't think we talked about it last week. We did not. We No, you had, you, you, uh, let the cat out of the bag on I social media. I kicked that cat out of the bag. Um, Surprised you let, well, it lasted that long. <laughs> well, I did really well with, <laughs> for me anyway. Um, I was really excited. But this is one of our colorways, and we're um, launching Hand Dye Diva yarns that Sherry and I are dyeing. We're starting with soft weight. Yes. Um, but we're launching that at the Cheers to You birthday on March 7th. And that's Fire Pit, right? This is Fire Pit. And I think when I counted the other day, we're actually starting with like 36 colorways. I thought I saw that there was quite a few. There are a lot. And I'm but that's I'm nice. super excited. I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, come on. I it's like a paint box. I love the it. whole yeah. Something for everybody then. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just all, you know, like Purples and blues. No, everything. no, it's across the whole, it, <laughs> yeah, and that was very much planned. Um, this, I started this morning. This is a blanket. <laughs> Can you oh, tell? is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I started this this morning, and I've honestly been thinking about it for a while. Um, and because I don't have a sweater really on the needles right now or any big thing, I thought, I want a big thing. And I have a ton of leftover sock yarn. Um, this is actually my... Uh, fiber share friend sent me this. Oh, yeah, that's Charisse. beautiful. It's really pretty, and it's a. Let me grab the ball band because it's a brand that I never, I had never heard of. That's a really. Oh my gosh, look at that cake. It's so <gasps> fun. Look at that. It's pretty. My friend in Canada sent me this. I don't know why I said Can Can Canada. 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 <laughs> this is um, knitting wolf luxury yarns. Look, it's a wolf in a suit. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that cool? Is that actually like a Canadian? Um, yeah. It's all hand, it's all handwritten and everything. Oh, October nice. sunrise over. Boo, 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 boo. Tat. I'm not sure. Over something, something, something. I don't know. I can't tell. Tatamaguchi. Yeah, that. Is that I'm not really. Maybe, maybe a. Lake? I don't know. Or sure. Something. I'll just stick with October sunrise. Okay. I can, That's I can easier read to read that. <laughs> uh, 70, 2010. Two ply MCN. Oh, it has cashmere in it. No wonder it feels good. Oh, okay. Merino cashmere and nylon. Ooh, Ooh that does feel nice. I've that been is waiting. Just a beautiful color. Uh, it's gorgeous. I've been waiting to use it, and I have so many bits of um sock yarn i have yes. a lot so this is going to be a scrappy granny stripe so oh okay that's, that's yeah so i have a plan for all of my sock yarn oops sorry oh, sorry hi d uh, um hello um all of my sock yarn things so there's two sweaters that have come out pretty close oh, to each like other like the scrappy stuff or yeah so there's the one that's called simple something I, this is what we were looking at yes, last. Yes, which is yeah. holding sock weight together. And then there's the other one, which is called Stash Dive Raglan. Okay. Um, and that you hold. Sounds fun. It says a worsted and a, and a fingering together, but then you're on like a seven. And so I'm going to do it. That's going to be a little bit of a tight. I'm going to do wow. a DK um, and a fingering. But... What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do all, like my, pick my sock yarns out and I'm going to roll them into little, little like do lollies. Yeah. And just put them in a bag. And then I just pick the next one. 
and I have um, a cream base but then I also have that color changing yarn that I have some left over, and that's oh, a DK weight too. Oh, it, it's uh, abracadabra. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to put some of that in there too. So it will be a color changing scrappy sweater. <laughs> That'll be kind of cool. Be so much fun. I can't wait to start it. That'll be really fun. I finished my sandwich first. But. <laughs> so I do have a question. Yeah. Um, which ties in sort of to what you're doing. My topic. Today. Okay. Sort of. I mean, on the side so in looking at this because I actually did print out a free pattern for this um, for the blanket <laughs> my little this is my blanket <laughs> um, but I printed out a free pattern for it and it referenced um, the magic knot I have to tell you magic knot yes and I'll tell you what it is but I was wondering if you'd used it and you've answered the question okay. I think for mm -hmm. me but magic circle no magic, magic knot, knot for okay. joining yarn and and oh, sandy i no. i'm curious i know what i am no. anti knots no, and things the only and i watched the video and i was still like oh no. i just it's basically a surgeon's knot which i'll tell you what that is to me as a climber okay. we would use it's a grapevine is what it is right because you us. twist it twice you, well they only do it one time and through and what happens is you you twist it and put it through, twist it, put it through. When you pull, they just cinch down. Uh -huh. That was the one way um, that we would join certain pieces of rope. So I watched it and I went, well, it's not likely to come undone, but the thought of knots in my work, it just doesn't seem very comfortable. Besides the fact that, I mean, if you just do like a straight overhand knot, yeah. like there's no chance. Oh, it's not going to stay. No. no. Um, hey, Carol. But. Thank you, Mom. It they always work their way to the front somehow. And so you're gonna see They're, it. So you I always just, see them. And I can't really get down with that. I, uh, I you know, I'm like, whatever floats your boat, it's your project, but I tell everybody no nods. I what do you guys think? I'm just I watched it. <laughs> no, I, no. I was very skeptical. <laughs> yeah, I just and besides the um she calls it a weaver's knot and no i don't use knots on my knitting no never and you know i have to tell you even though this is crochet the the master knitter program looms always right here and i can't in good i can't do it it um I can't do it so i think when people do like we like if they do a new ball of yarn and they weave in their ends I don't know if everybody is is aware that when you have those two no knots thank you Lori yes no knots Carol that yes. when you have those two ends the one from the old has to go they cross continue, directions and the other one yeah has to go, so as you though don't have a hole. but right. then the other thing that you can do which I usually tell my students is hey, instead of just weaving in in yeah, one Ed. direction Ed said no knots that's right no knots Instead of just weaving in in one direction, if you go this way and then back, you can and you can make it invisible. It in. It's in, it's it's a duplicate stitch. It's invisible. You yeah. can't see it. I'm I'm with you guys. I was just it's it, just I I shuddered. Something in me died a little. I, I mean, geez, for for crochet too. There's so many places to just like weave in and end that. Yeah. You never you're never gonna not gonna see it. I was just it. curious if anybody used that, and I thought I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. I use the spit join. No, I don't. That's disgusting. I, I, I don't even. <laughs> I like, looked at you and this, I thought. Like, this spit in your hand and rub it together. I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm not, not a <laughs> super fan of that idea either. Okay. No. So thank you for that. It was the big not controversy. <laughs> and now it's not a controversy. <laughs> Good morning. Okay. So. You're here all day. I, fortunately for you, <laughs> yes. Aren't you lucky? I am. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So my show topic today. I'm excited mine. about this. Although today I should have talked about thrumming because I had to scrape my windows and Sandy I haven't made said mine. She spit splices all the time. Ew! Do you really? <laughs> you do not. Do you? <laughs> it's not my top choice of ways to go. I'll weave my yarn tails in. <laughs> No coronavirus on my knitting. That's right. Yeah. Or, ugh. I can't do that. Oh, I have, I do I'm have. I'm going to go turn off the, um. Oh, okay. Sorry. I have, a, I have, you know, like, just like I like the things around my neck, I have a thing about spitting. <laughs> 
Yes, it is felting, Ed. It is. That's basically what it you're is doing. Felting. It's felting the ends it together. Is. But can't you just do it with like some water? <laughs> Does it have to be spit? Hey, you know, there's a little piece of every one of us in the work we do. That's. I'd rather it be. Um, what dead some skin, skin cells? cells instead? I of knew that spit. was coming. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Okay. We digress. Okay. So. I'm talking about shoes today. When I saw her topic come up, I was like, oh my God. So I decided to talk about shoes today, and this is not slippers. Can I hold it up? Yeah, you can hold it up. It's not, and it's not finished because I haven't put the sole on it yet. Cute. You have tiny feet. What size do you wear? uh, Like uh, like a six and a half. It's. It does look small, but when you put it on, it stretches just a bit. You want it to be just a little bit small. Can you see? So it can. So there's. It's the got little like top. little. Little bow, like a little bow on yeah, it. Yeah, like little web, almost like a little webby uh-huh. bow thing. Those are cute. Aren't they adorable? Really cute. I can't wait to put the sole on it. Ed said, <laughs> um, "Just and we'll get away from this." It doesn't ends, work as well as water. Oh, and Sandy, wow! Thank you for the, the science, Sandy. The enzymes in your saliva work better than plain water. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so, and that's cool. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> or your knitting. Or your knitting. There you go. Um, uh, I'm so excited about this. Cute shoe, Carol said. I, oh, yes. It is cute. Okay, so this is, so this is the Let me shoe. hold it up so yes. you can see. So anyway, so why I came up with this was, so this is not, I mean, you can find, everybody knows, you can find a million Crochet slipper. shoe, slipper Well, just things. any slipper. You know, knitted yeah. slippers, whatever. The slippers that you're just supposed to wear cute. inside. Isn't that cute? What I was trying to find was something that you could make that you would be able to wear outside. So an actual shoe. Um, and I got on that because of our challenge thing. Because of our no buy. Yes. So, and you can <laughs> yes. handle the soles two different ways. You could cut an old nasty shoe off of a sole and you use silicone caulk and glue the shoe onto the sole. Wow, okay. Okay, I also got um, soles that are, they're like actual shoe soles, so they're not the flip-flops that you put you the bought holes them? into. Yeah, and I, and oh, they're wow. from, and I forgot to bring them because they're lovely, they're, they're very nicely made. Um, it's just the soul. Um, it's just the soul. How and cool. she had, and I, I'm gonna have to put it in the show notes. Um, because was it Etsy? It was on Etsy. Okay. Yes. Um, and she is from away Russia, something like oh, that. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. Like, and but the but the cost and the shipping was, was incredibly reasonable. Wow. And they didn't take that long either. I mean, wow. they had the custom sticker on them and all that kind of stuff. But huh. still, maybe like two and a half weeks. Like it oh, wasn't wow. that bad. And she has felt insoles that don't have holes in them. These furry lined things that you can like put in your boots that are fabulous well, that I use. For your vacay in Siberia. Yeah. Well, but I put them in my boots so when I was So you got the at, liners too? Yes, oh. so I put the furry ones in my boots when we were at the first cookie booth because we were standing on concrete and it was cold. So, so I mean, it's even, insulating. Yes, so even How that. How cool, so then I mean she warm. Has, um, uh, they are outside soles because the bottom of them have like the uh, grippy stuff on it, but they're still really thin and they're poked. They're already um, How have cool. holes in them. I want to see them. I know. I'll bring them in next wow. week. Wow. Um, but this one you would cut your own insole for, which you could just do out of like a foam sheet and you could glue fabric onto it if you wanted to. And then this particular lady also has tutorials for flip flop soles that you don't poke, making them out of doormats. If the old doormat things, Doormats. like the the thin doormat ones yeah. that kind of have like the carpet on them, also has crocheted outsoles and um, like cord where you you like wrap like continuous circle. That into makes me a, crazy. I know what you're talking about, and I just I couldn't do it. You couldn't. You don't think you could make them? It, but they were not that big. I it just that's not something. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not inclined to do that. So are these meant to have a soul added? They will have a soul added. They will be How outdoor cool. shoes. Oh yes. my gosh. And so this lady, so this is called, um, this pattern is from a, 
I'm, I'm going to say it's a company because they look like um, like you could buy them as books if you wanted to also. Um, oh, cool. Uh, Sophie and me, S-O-P-H-I-E and me, Ingen Santini. Um, so the I don't Espadrille know if that, that would be South America or over in Europe somewhere. I, I, now I'm curious to look. It's Sophie and me is just a cute name. Yes, it is. So these are the pattern, the blue bow slipper, because she did hers in white and blue. Wow. And this is just, um, this is Cotton Supreme. So that's what I made it out of. So you're on a really small hook for worsted weight. Um, so that they're cotton, tight. But yeah. you want it to be tight. So it, so it, I mean, obviously it's got some structure to it. The back of it is, is um, standing up. But it does have, you know, a little bit of shaping back there so you can do the fit the heel yeah fit the heel a little that's bit. awesome oh my gosh those are cute and it just has you know i mean it's just adorable um okay so the original it. one of those is that right there oh that's so cute see so she's got her little insoles in there oh my gosh let me zoom in oh wow and she's got the soles on you can just see them at the toe holy smoke this looks like something you would buy at the store i know right oh my gosh so you can buy from them the insoles no, she makes her own. Oh. So I, what I'm going to wow. try is I have Cute. some foam. I don't know if it's stiff enough, though, because I think it's more like craft foam. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's going to work too well. Come on. Um, but I will try it uh, and see how that works. If it doesn't, then I'm going to see if I can find some other thicker type of um I don't know if you'd want to use insulation foam because I'm thinking that would have a tendency to like bend in an area and then you want it to stay crack. flat yeah whatever so, it is um I haven't she does have another so like when you when you get one of these patterns you get the slipper and how to do the sole um but she puts in the cord sole so you can do a cotton cord sole or you can That's do the like one where you wrap it. Jute. Okay. And you can do that like that. You can do thinner twine and do crocheted soles. But then the other nice thing that she does, which I think makes it look like a real shoe, is that after you put that sole on, then you do that edging. That's what, that's makes, what it look, makes it look like Let's look at that again. Shoe. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I don't know if you can really see it on that one. I've got but a couple but just in that one little spot right there, it's it looks pretty finished. Yeah, it's um, that's nice looking. It is really cute. And look at I see. I want to know. This I is, want to know how she does the insole. Yes, she must have that fabric printed, and then I don't know. That's she really she, cute. She says she makes them well, but she she's getting the fabric somehow. Well, that's true. Yeah, because yeah. it was like perfectly matched and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So yeah. So I, as I finish these, I will bring them in as a finished I love that. project. But I, I was really happy with how that turned out. It's really cute. Her, um, really cute. The instructions are in, are incredibly well written. There's tons of pictures. Don't hear that all the time. Um, you can tell that it's translated from a different language, but it is U.S. terminology. Um, and they are not difficult to follow. Um, everything is marked and numbered and- Which I love. They're really, they're just really good patterns. So this scrappy thing is in UK terms. Which isn't, a, which isn't an issue if you know if you that know, it's in UK terms. But I have to tell you yet again, and I feel this way about the metric system, we should all just be using the metric system. It, and so, the UK terms make sense. Yes, because theirs are based on how many times how many you, yes. loops you're pulling Oh my gosh, through. it yes. just makes sense. Yes. I looked at that and I went, why? Why <laughs> Why do we have to always be the like rebel? No, we're not going to measure in 10s. We're going to measure in 12s. We're going to say it differently. Yeah. But yes, but for, for those of you who didn't hear me the last uh, time, I know, it's, it's, it's because rah, 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 rah. of your finger joints. I, I, I get that. So... There's a reason. It's just, <laughs> it just doesn't really apply anymore because that's not how we count things. But that's where we came up with twelve because you have three joints in each of your fingers, and that's how they used to count things. Okay, and <laughs> we're we're in the now. <laughs> yes, we should. There's lots of proponents for switching to the metric system. I right? think I'm gonna just declare this uh, the nation right here. Uh -huh. Right here. This is Lady Anne. No more. It's no more yards and. 
ounces, right? It's all yes. grams. It's and grams and meters. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Who's with me? <laughs> yeah. I'll try. <laughs> I just think it makes more sense. It just makes good sense, you it's guys. Easier. It's easier to do things in your head, too, because it's multiples of 10. Yes. Um, okay, so that's the blue bow one. Yep. Um, I also did the flip flop Oxfords, which I am totally making. Oh my God. I, this is the one. Look at these. So I told Sarah when I came in this morning, normally when I put her pictures up, I try not to really <laughs> look at them, but I have to admit, I saw are these. Are those not the cutest oh things ever? Oh my God. Those are adorable. And so there you can see really well the sole treatment. I may have to make these. I know, right? I really, really like these. These are super cute. And you don't have to do the coil one. And it's one. Sophie and me again. Yes. So I've got several of Sophie and me. So oh my God, yeah, I love with me these. On that. But they are just wow. fantastic. There's, you know, I mean, there's probably 20. Oh my God. Those are, wow. Those um, are so cute. So you wouldn't have to do, like you didn't want to do the, the, the looped one, you know, but you can get thin twine and do a crocheted outsole and then you just do the that band the edging and glue yeah. it on. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes, so I love that. I know. I'm going to I'm going to have all crochet shoes now. <laughs> I know. It's really cute. So, oh, okay, so I am going to say this just by the nature of the fabric that knit and crochet create, more often than not, you are going to be crocheting the shoes, but I do have some knit ones. So, knitters fear not. Um, there are some very cute options. Um, I don't you, know that I've ever seen the knit ones. If you only knit. I mean, well, I take that back. I have a pair of felted slippers at home that were knit. And oddly enough, I started making Sherry a pair. I got through one whole slipper and I cannot find that project anywhere. <laughs> I think I left it somewhere. That's been gone. Oh, no. for Yeah, I, it's been gone now for Did like probably two years. Well, there was one in here. That was half of the pair that I ended up giving to Kathy because they were the, the pattern ran a lot smaller, oh, like okay. a lot smaller. So then I remade them, made them for myself, and I started making them for Sherry, and they're gone. <laughs> oh no! It happens. Oh, that's a bummer. But they were knit. But other than that, I don't see knit ones very often. Not too much, but I, I'll show them because I do have a couple on there. Okay. So those Oxfords. Um, oh, they're cute. Also use the flip flop sole, but without the poking. So you're using a pre-made sole, and then so you're just cute. putting that edging on there. I mean, that to make is it. that's adorable. I know they're just they're fantastic. And I think I love the gray. Yes, I actually I really like the gray. That or um or like a denim color or a buck. Yeah, that well that's why I made mine in brown because I was like I love the white and blue, but the white will just get filthy. I know, yeah. like it'll be dirty the first time she I wear said it. She's really sad too. Don't and? be. I almost <laughs> busted my butt on the floor wearing mine. Oh yeah. Oh. You got yeah, I I knit um some booties for the girls and I. Oh, so God. they well they're fine. Like okay. I know what to wear and I'm like, they, they, wear, fall? they wear theirs when they want to ice skate in the kitchen. <laughs> and that's what it feels like when you're wearing yes. belted or crocheted or knitted slippers. So do yourself a favor and get some of that like spray rubber stuff yeah. and tape it off and spray I'm gonna have to do that rubber on there. Yeah. <laughs> Or even just some, like, if you have a tube of caulk. Some and dots. Like, and make dots or, like, line it and, you know, smear it in there. Just I'll to, get the spray. It, it's much easier. Yeah. <laughs> and you can get it in clear so you don't, you can't I get it, it at Lowe's. Yeah. Yes, you can get it at Lowe's, but you can get it in clear. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't get it at Lowe's because I have some. That's, okay. That's where I cool. got it from. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Those are the crochet outsoles that's from Sophie and me so look like look and then you and then you oh. would so for this one in particular that side that dark brown side then you would stitch the slipper to, to the, the dark brown part okay. yes um so that's one way to do it so when you stitch it on there you end up with a double layer of fabric under the foot so right yes am I understanding yes. that correctly yeah which which gives <clears throat> you and then the insoles if you end up doing the insole, like some type of fabric or, or foam or something like that, then one, it's more comfortable because crochet can be a little lumpy. rough and yeah. lumpy. Um, and two, your foot's not rubbing directly on the, the yarn, so you're not going to wear the yarn out. Slipper as, will last longer. As faster, yeah. as fast, yeah. Sherry said that spray comes in clear black and white. Thank you for your research. It does. Cool. 
I'm sure they'll come out with many colors. Like people will be like, I need red. <laughs> Cause my building is red and there's a hole in it. Or uh, like the- There's a hole in your building. <laughs> so you're gonna go buy one can. That's, hey, have you seen the off. commercial where the guy's like, I put a screen door on the bottom of my boat and then yes. I spray and it's waterproof. Yes, and I floated across the Atlantic. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, commercials are ridiculous. Yep, but they're, they're fun. They're good for a laugh. Um, okay, so there's the last pair of this the, one. Yeah, this is the last pair. Just that I'm showing. Oh, that's Sophie and um, me. That's Sophie of me. So those are wow. called the Venezia slippers. Those are a little fancy, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. So that one you can tell it's it's like a jute um, sole, and then you can see the little stitches there that she attached. Get it a little closer there. Yeah. There you go. So then those little stitches on cool. there. Which you could do with a contrasting color or something Which like that. Which would be really you, cute. You see, you know, like what are they, Vans? is It's white and then it has a black line on it, right? Yeah. And the rubber part yeah. of the sole. Sure, This would right? be really cute, sure. <laughs> oh, here's yeah. the other soles. Those are the doormat soles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. So there's like you cut. Doormat. Yeah. Interesting. I like that it has a little bit of the words yeah, in Yeah, right? There. That's actually kind of cool. So we're reusing. <clears throat> I love this. We're reusing. I love this. I know. I think that's so cool. And you know, the thing that we haven't said is when you don't spend so much money on clothes and whatever, more money for yarn. That's right. Yep. <laughs> to make all the things that are perfectly suited for you to yourself. That's right. That's the beauty of that. being able to make your own stuff. Okay, so then a knit pair for our knitters. That one. Oh, right there. really? Yes. Wait till you see it. Ah. Look at it. And her little weird clear socks. Well, <laughs> I, I okay. So two things I noticed about this. One, I, I did not realize these were knit until you said it. I love that contrast stitch there to the white, yes. the red. So that is a rubber sole. I'm not exactly sure where they got it from because I didn't purchase the pattern. But it's the same concept as a sock. You're taking a, a smaller needle for the gauge of yarn and knitting very tightly. I love it. Um, I mean, I think it's really cute. And I, and I did notice she, I love the little clear socks and her legs are almost as wide as mine. <laughs> Not quite. So you'll know exactly how it looks on you. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I'm telling you. Yeah. So, yeah. So those ones were knit. And those are knit without being felted. Because most of the stuff, the other knit ones that I have, they've been felted. Um, because it just, it makes the fabric sturdier. She um, said those other ones were more like um, Toms than Vans. And these are Vans. These look like Vans, yes. Makes um, sense. They do very much so. Um, so the other one from this um, Berger de France is the um, pattern thing is this one, which is crocheted. But look at that too. I mean, that like I cute. swear I've seen something like that in a store. You know, I I want to know now. I just want to know where they get those soles. I want to know where the soles are from too, because it says in the description that it's rubber soles. So I don't know if they're chopping huh. something off of a um a shoe a shoe or um i mean i'm sure you Weird. could get the you have to be able to buy parts, yeah. yeah from i mean I, I have not looked on etsy you can find just about everything on etsy um can't find it on amazon go to etsy <laughs> true story where you can get it from hmm. okay so then some are um these are just um uh other people there so Sophie and me has tons of patterns and they're all gorgeous. Um, that Berge de France, which was the last one Isn't in the red that one. Isn't that a fashion we brand? What? Isn't that a fashion brand? It might be, I, but it's a pattern to I buy. I swear. Um, oh, and on that topic of fashion brands, I stumbled on something last night I want to tell you guys about. It's kind of cool <laughs> and maybe a little addictive. Uh -oh. So Carl Lagerfeld has, yeah. ha, did you see this thing? No. You know who Carl Lager, Lagerfeld was? He's he passed, said, away. He passed away. Last year, right? Yes. Yeah. But um, if I think the website is knitcarl, K-N-I-T-K-A-R-L.com. They are having, and it started yesterday. I caught it right as it started. I happened to be looking at Instagram. They have a scavenger hunt. <gasps> Between now and um, and our birthday, March 7th, you have to find as many of the 777 clues around the internet 
these codes. I found what? I found two of them. Where? They I'm... kind of tell you where to go. <laughs> the one I'm on now is um, Vogue.com, and they're like, it's somewhere on Vogue.com. Do you have any idea? How big that site is? So That's I was enormous. looking at that on my phone, and I went, Man, I can't do this tonight. <laughs> um, but if you, if you get it, you win this um, kit from Carl Lagerfeld that is a knitting kit. Oh, cool. And it it's the coolest thing. I, you have to find all 770 of them? 777, yes. If I, I think you have to find all of them. <clears throat> I, I'm, I've got a little bit of- How, uh, Where do you save them? Like after- like You have to you go back them. to Nick Carl and put them in. Oh, okay. Like you have an account. I, I've set it up, <laughs> Jerry, this is what I was doing. She said, uh -huh. what are you doing? I was like, I'm doing a scavenger hunt. <laughs> and then she didn't ask me anything else, so. Not hey, Carrie. For knitting. She was doing a scavenger hunt well, for knitting. You, you, yeah. need, you guys need to go check it out. It literally launched yesterday, and very rarely am I spot on when something, like, yeah. breaks. <laughs> um, but I happened to be looking when this launched, and I went, <gasps> That is, so what are you making? What is, does it tell you what the kit is? Um... I'm not sure what the, I think it comes, actually, I do know, it comes with several patterns. I don't know what the patterns are for. I want to say oh. it's for Carl Lagerfeld knitting patterns. And I have to tell you, I have been waiting for, like I'm some fashionista, <laughs> let's be real. Um, I don't, I love to look at fashion. I don't really care about wearing fashion-y stuff, but I it, love to look at it. It seems very uncomfortable. Most <clears> not of my thing to wear, <laughs> but I, I love to look at it. And so I keep, I've been waiting for some of the fashion houses to actually start yes. dipping into this. So go Carl Lagerfeld yes. people. So I had to tell you about that. Hey, Amy. Really? So really yeah, fun. it's pretty cool. That is get really on amazing. get on board because it started yesterday, you guys. You have a little okay. under a month left. That's right. To find 777 clues. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'll be done see, about midweek. We won't see her until like <laughs> I'll be like this. Yeah, I don't know. But it's cool. Your eyes will be all red when you come in yeah. next time. Like I haven't blinked in a week. <laughs> I've been up for five days straight. <laughs> Looking for codes on Vogue knitting. That's right. Um, but I'm pretty sure that we digressed. But that Berger de France, I think, de France, um, I'm pretty sure that's a fashion-y thingy. It's, I mean, it's, it certainly positive. seems like, especially with the pictures that they've got, I mean, they're definitely style pictures. I think pictures. we're going to see a lot more of this. But they're purchasable patterns. So, and I haven't purchased one, so I'm not sure exactly what you get, but it, like, the the page is filled out, knitting, yarn, needle size, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, it, it'd be it'd be worth a look. Sherry's cousin cute. works for Kate Spade in New York <gasps> City. Ooh. Yeah. I feel like I should shoot him a note and be like, hey, when are you guys launching your line of knitting patterns? <laughs> That's right. He'd probably say, hey, you're ridiculous. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so anyway. Never. <laughs> Never. That's right. Not going to happen. Um, so the other people, or the other thing that does a lot of the flip-flop sole ones is called the Make and Do Crew, which I actually follow on Instagram, and they're, it's just a cute Instagram feed. Yeah. They make really wearable. Um, but all using like, flip-flops for this But they, I mean, they do other things. They've got, you know, sweaters and oh, cowls. Oh, I'll like check lots, them out. It's just a, cool. it's a bunch of people um, that are part of this crew. The make and, and do um, crew. That's yes. cute. I like it. It's just really down to earth, like wearable stuff. But cool. so this is the first pair. Summer. Summertime time? slide. Okay. Those are cute. And oh, are those are really cute. Yeah. So those are the ones that I did try to make. Okay. So the, so oh, the issue that yeah. I had with okay. them was they want you to crochet tightly because they want your fabric to be stiff enough. But you took that to heart. But I did it like way too much. <laughs> yeah. And the first like four rows are like suctioned to <laughs> the top of the flip flop and you can't get your foot in it. So I did it a little bit too much. <laughs> so, but the other thing is, is that I wanted to try to do that on those pre-punched soles, not the flip flop soles. So but you, don't you have used to... flip flops. I did, and okay. the, and it worked fine. I didn't have any problem, you know, getting the yarn through the hole that I punched on. And they give you this ruler thing so you can punch it, you know, oh, all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Um, I just 
I went too far with the with crocheting tight. I'm like, <laughs> I remember she <laughs> brought those bad. in. She's like, look, I got them done. The distance between the sole <laughs> and the top is like, like this. <laughs> there's no way you're getting a foot in there. And I thought, wow, those are really cute. And wow, your feet must be. <laughs> If you were making them for paper Stanley, that's then... like my daughter could probably wear them. <clears throat> well, I have some Except socks the to bottom bring for of the shoe would be like way a little up. big. Oh, She'd be flopping around in them. That's all right. <laughs> but they would turn out cute if you did them correctly. That that was operator error, not hey, <laughs> not the pattern. Not that any of us have ever had operator error in knitting or crochet ever. So there's like, I mean, she's got. <clears throat> I, I don't know, at least a half a dozen, maybe more than that. Cool. So that pair, um, these moccasins, which are These really are really cute. interesting. I saw, these are really cute. She's got little beads on there and a little leather tie and everything. How adorable are those? Now this is another place that I have to tell you, I would buy the soles that are ready to use and not, I, I, I don't have, for whatever reason, I have no patience for, I'm gonna punch holes in the, <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen because you got to do it with a knitting needle, and then you have to go through with like a B hook. I would to just start it. Borrow Sherry's all and just like just yeah. tap it in there. But but I can tell you that's not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen. And then the last pair she's got <clears throat> are these winter boots. Okay. Ooh, those are really cute. Yeah. yeah. So you cute. can see like if like the, cute the uh, the sole flips up. It like, does. Yeah. Once you do that, but of course when you put it on. It's you know it, it goes flat. It's not Cute. like you're walking on your heels. This all is the time. where you put the fur thing on the inside. Yes, that'd yeah, be really totally. cute. Yeah, and then yeah, and then it actually would. <laughs> yeah, these are like earth shoes be... where they yeah right. You know, <laughs> they're higher you're like at the toe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they're healthier for your walking. <laughs> okay, so that's making do crew, <clears throat> um, and then just a couple other ones. Uh, let's see, these ones, these okay. vacation shoes, it's another flip flop one. I love but they're these, really cute. and I love that the sole it's is like that lime green. Yes, right? like that's that's totally cute to me. I love that. Yes, so let's see, then these two are the same picture. Oh, this so one, so this is the top, the top, top view. So there's like a little motif. These so, are cute. So this one, I like these. if you show the side picture, you okay. can see how thin Going over the here. sole is. There you go. So this is more like the sole that that's like a leather I've got. sole. It's very, um, yeah. The, I mean, they are. They're leather soles and they're hand cut. Um, Perfect. Sherry said she can set up the drill press. <gasps> there you go. There you go. <laughs> get that leather sole and get to it. Um, so those are more like the soles that I got. They're very thin um, and not comfortable. Like that's the one thing I would have a hard squishy. time with those. Yeah. Um, they would but hurt me. if you put the if you put the insole in and it was a little bit of foam, I think that'd be like just enough to. I just I. You don't usually wear flats, do you? I can't. I, it's hard. I have them. And my feet kill me. It so just, yeah, it hurts. It's very thing. painful. So. So you would be good with the flip flop soles. Fancy Crocs. Oh, I wish Adela were on. <laughs> she um, she wears Crocs all the time. And Those are her dying shoes, right? I think they're her, like, yeah, did all the she time. Have, did she have Crocs on when she was here? I didn't look at her feet <laughs> when she was here. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think so. We'll have to look at the picture that we took when we were setting up the know. table because you could see her feet in that one. I don't recall that she was. I feel like she was wearing tennis shoes. I think she but had tennis shoes on, She yeah. wears Crocs all the time, she does. She says. And I saw the last post. Um, Jimmy was saying that he would never wear Crocs, and she sent a picture that of he him has, wearing he's Crocs. Got Crocs on. Ah, <laughs> they're um, they're camo. They've got their camo. Oh, I did see those. I didn't realize those were his. <laughs> that was his. So he he got he roped in. Them. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, then just a couple quick ones that like I'm totally gonna make because they're adorable. So this felt one. Uh, is this one? Yeah, is a slipper, but all you have to cute. do is put it on a sole. Look how cute that is with its little bow. And that is the actual color of my leg. <laughs> uh, right there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much it, y'all. Yep. It's not that bad. <laughs> I've seen you in a dress before. It's not. Th it's not that. Like I can't imagine that you're any whiter than like my arms that never see the sun. <laughs> Actually, you think so? Yeah, we'll have to bring in some crayons and see if she's white or beige. No, I'm. I my legs are like <laughs> screaming. 
glow in the dark. And then these, because I just want to know I how to love do these. that little the ruffle. frilly thing there. Are these knit or crochet? They're knit and felted. Knit and felt. Well, then it's just a ruffle. I mean, it's so. Oh, and then you're the just ruffle doing, just felted? Yeah, you're doing oh. crazy amounts of increases right there. Okay. And, then, and I love the little granny bow on I there. Know. I love this. Oh, Steve Key. Hey, how are you? Oh my gosh, Sherry Steve is on. Um, yeah, I love these. These are really cute. So those are adorable. Yeah, I like yeah. them. And then um, people, I mean, this isn't a new thing that people have come up with. People in like the 30s, 40s, and 50s would do this all the time and they would call them play shoes. So it wasn't like their heels that they went out in or went to church in. This was, you know, um, they were out back doing the hanging up the laundry or they were went to the beach or something like that and they would take soles from it shoes which is makes sense and that was a good use of that top on them. so there's one pair right there which which that, um, down way down in the corner there this yep it, the, the picture is not oh. very good oh those are that's a vintage that's pair. a vintage picture so this this wow. particular pair this pattern was actually posted in um one of the little like I don't know what it was called, but like Women's Day used to do like little news yeah. things and you would get a free pattern for some kind I, of home goods God, I love that. type thing. And that's a crocheted um, shoe on on an old sole. Mom said she loves the shoes. You know, I'm I kind of am betting. So my mom taught home ec. Yeah. And I'm kind of betting that there's going to be a wave of resurgence in yes uh, like more than there is now like i could actually see publications coming out for mm -hmm. this because we have a lot of young women that come in here in particular who are far more home whatever home ec oriented than i they ever their, was their abilities are there they do they sew they they do all of that make, now they it's make interesting all the stuff yeah i grew up in the 80s that you know okay so i we have didn't this do theory that. okay so my parents um are a little bit younger than your parents yeah. are um yeah she's and, 10 years younger than i am yeah just so you guys so my a, parents are yeah. my dad is um in his early 60s and my mom is in her mid 50s um and they grew up right when that whole like novelty of disposability and single Came use about. stuff was yeah. like it's fantastic oh use this bag one time and throw it away you don't have to clean anything up and and it just exploded and now everybody's getting back into that's probably not the best thing for any to do so um yeah. you know like the didn't you say somebody was making you beeswax yeah, Sherry's um, co-worker, Aubrey, makes the beeswax yes. food covers. Yeah, and they're fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. They're great. I have some that they're commercially made, but I... But, but they're, they're reusable the over and over and over. It says, yeah. I, And it says you can get it at least a year out of them. That's, like, conservative. I had the last set for, like, three years until... You just wash it, them. You just, like, yeah. Rinse them off, soap them off. And you could either... You can even... Um, you could even reapply beeswax also yeah. if you wanted to yeah. and because the, the beeswax just kind of wears off a little bit but yeah you could just make it again like fix it you know there's Imagine let's that. fix things <laughs> right? yes yes which <laughs> like yes. darning oh That's god i think to... it's funny that you said that <laughs> the other night i had i love smart wool socks mm -hmm. and i keep those suckers until i mean it's all a darn <laughs> <laughs> well, one pair actually, I there was no darning of them. All the wool had worn off, and all that was left was the nylon webbing. Oh my god! Like, so <laughs> so thin, like fine silk, only not. Um, but the pair I had on the other night, I realized after I'd been wearing them that there was a giant hole in the side, and I looked at Terry oh, and I said, "I'm gonna have to fix these." And I, I love those socks. And why not fix them? Yeah. You know? You put a neon green patch on them. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I might That's do what that. I, would do. <laughs> I actually might do that. So, yeah. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. That's right. Upcycle. Ends to middling. I <laughs> that love is that your one. favorite term. I do. Ever. That's such a great thing. Does okay. anybody know what that is? I'll explain it really quick. 
Ends to middling is when you used to have sheets. Before there was fitted sheets, you'd had two flat sheets, okay? Well, the sheet that you're laying on, it gets all worn out in the middle, but all the ends are still okay. So you'd cut it in half, so the ends to the middle, and you'd be able to use your sheets for longer. Ends to middling. That's what they used to call it. She loves that term. I do. That's just the great. That's her term. My <laughs> anachronistic friend here. Yeah. Jennifer said, yay, neon green. Totally with you. Uh-huh. So I think, is that all the shoe, <laughs> yes. shoe news? All the, shoe, all the news. shoe news. So go out and make some That's shoes. That's cool. I'm, I want to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm doing my scrappy granny stripe blanket. And then after that, I will do shoes. Okay. I think shoes would be fun because I do have a bunch of cotton left over from stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to use through some stuff because now that we're dying well, yarn, I'm going to end up with a lot of yarn. I mean, because the, the sole, I mean, even in a much larger size, you, you'd you only need one skein of that yarn. Yeah. Um, but then this, you know, I mean, you hardly need any of that. Yeah, so, that's just accent. Yeah, whatever you could use up. You could even, I even make do the each Oxfords, stripe though. a different color. Yeah, you could totally do that. <gasps> I want the Oxfords. <laughs> I know. Rainbow Oxfords. That's the, that's that's the cool. next one I'm making is those Oxfords. They're, they're cute. They're awesome. I love them. Um, and just so you guys know, before we check out today, um, Sarah and I are starting a knit along. Oh, yes. Yep. We'll tell you more about that closer to time. Um, come to the birthday because we will have the perfect yarn for you from Hand Dyed Diva, the new yarn line of hand dyed yarn that Sherry and I are dyeing. That we'll have in the shop. That's when we're starting it, right? Well, we probably need to start it slightly after that so people can get their yarn. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, when was I thinking we were finishing it? Maybe by local yarn store day? Yeah, probably, yeah, by, so we which can, is April 25th. We need to wear it at local yarn store Ooh, day. Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah. It'll give us a, like, it has to be done then. Yeah, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so, on that note, shall we uh, show the little things that are coming up sure. and then head out? Yes. Okay, so this is totally zoomed in. So you can't see or read anything. Because <laughs> she doesn't want her head in there. Yeah, well, I just, it was, there was kind of a lot of my face going on. And we, that's, it's, we're good. We don't need that all the time. I'm not Oprah. Um, okay, so I am doing my first sweater. It's not you, it's Sandy. I mean, sorry, Sandy is oh, okay. doing my first sweater. <laughs> I was like, wait, that changed? I was looking at my picture. <laughs> I am doing um, my first hat, but her My First Sweater starts next weekend. Sign up for this because this is a great opportunity to learn a lot of different techniques. And you'll totally be able to get it done too because the the yarn that it's on is a bulky. It's bulky. You can do this. But it's not like, it's not like swelteringly hot. So you'd still be able to It's wear good for it. right now. Yeah. Um, let's see. Also... I blew the surprise. The surprise is <laughs> Hand I Diva, y'all. She's coming into the shop. Um, that'll be at our birthday, March 7th. On March 14th, I am teaching this day, yes. um, Beginner's Day. Sign up for this if you want to learn how to knit. Um, I would love to help you learn how to knit. Spread it to all your friends. Yeah, tell your friends about it. Um, it's 40 bucks and it includes the instruction and a kit, which includes yes. a really good book. Yes. The book is great. It has a lot in it. So take advantage of that. Um, I am also teaching um, my first hat starting March 21st. And this is great to learn how to knit in the round. Um, Sarah just did. Are you guys I have, done? It's the last class today. Today. Yeah. Um, the mitts. Hey, Crystal. Um, so Sarah is teaching um, My First Mitts and Mittens, which is another that's a smaller diameter, but learning to mm -hmm. knit in the round. And then April 25th, mark your calendars, local yarn store day. We've got some awesome stuff that we are going to unleash for you that day. Do not miss it because Sarah and I have been secretly putting together um, what is going to be included in this. Ah. You know what this is. You just don't know you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I think that's it. So we're going to head off and uh, open up the shop. And yep. we hope to see you guys soon. Come and see us. Mm -hmm. And all day. make sure to join us for the birthday. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a good one. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.